Hello and welcome to my hobby bench. This video is a little different. It is nothing to do with terrain or miniature painting or wargaming at all actually. This year I went to Thassos with Angelo and my daughter Rosie. It was Rosie's first ever holiday really. And while we were there, which was a wonderful holiday, I did a lot of swimming in the sea and I collected a few small items while I was swimming and while I was uh, scubaing and brought them back with me. And I've wanted to do a display for this for quite a while and it's been kind of running through my mind and the other week I picked up some Perspex material from eBay which is on its way to me now via the courier service and so it seems like the right time to start this project seeing as that's going to arrive very shortly. So what I'm going to do in this video is take you through the process right from the word go, which is now, about planning and realising a small display of rocks and shells picked up from a holiday on Thassos because memories are good and seeing this over the coming years will always remind me of that wonderful time that we had. It really was very magical. So please follow along if you wish with this video and thank you for joining me. What you can see here is everything that I collected. This is what I would like to have on the on the display. I have my A4 sheet of MDF which is going to be the base unit and what I'll be doing is putting the, all this in inside of a box which I will make so I'll put some a surround around it and then I'll put the perspex over the top to keep it safe and secure. I have a couple of pebbles, I have a tiny little shell which is very beautiful um, and I have this one here which is also very beautiful, lovely purple colour to it which is just stunning. Uh, a couple of other interesting rocks including some uh, small, uh, which looks like it may even have um, a fossilised remains of some worm colony and then this large rock to go at the bottom. So all I've done so far is a little bit of thinking about what layout and which where I would like things to sit which is probably roughly what you're going to see here will be what it will end up being like. So from this point forwards I need to work out whether I'm going to uh, put anything on the bottom so uh, maybe put some sand, maybe paint it, maybe um, make it look a little more sea-like. I was considering using some water effects but I think I'm not going to do that now. I think that it will just look a bit too cluttered. Potentially something nice and clean like this which can be mounted on the wall or set on the side and we can always look at it and we can always remember the, the holiday like I say. Now one of the questions I've got is I do have some big differences, large differences, in the size of the items. and lifting these up towards the same height as this so they're not too deep in there when it's uh, got its walls on the side for the perspex to go over that's something which is going to be I'm going to need to think about and I'm going to have to work out how I'm going to do that. One of the options I've got is to lie that down and actually put things on top of it or something like that but having looked at it I don't really like that idea so I'll bring you along like I've said on this journey, we'll find out how this ends up looking and yeah, but those are my initial thoughts. So it's been quite a long time since I did this project and I have done a few short clips on it which you will have seen as part of the collection which will I, I'll put together when it's completed, however this is almost a complete reset. What I'm doing is I'm putting together a display of shells and stones that myself, Angela and Rosie collected last year now <laughs> on Thassos on our holiday, on our first family holiday with, with Rosie. It was absolutely wonderful, wonderful holiday. Best thing ever. Brilliant and I can't wait to get back there though. Obviously I'll have to now for a little bit. What I did was, before Christmas, again, it's been a long time that I've been planning this and I've just been so busy with other things, I've not got to it. Before Christmas, I picked up some deep um, picture frames. So they're picture frames that, let me grab it, that look like this. So they have little clips in and they're basically, it says it's for um, postcards. So a postcard photo frame It's very deep, as you can see. And what I think that is going to be absolutely perfect 
for sticking and let me reach these this professional video that I'm doing these are the things that I saved so there's some nice shells that are interesting that I dived for and there's some interesting shaped rocks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that pack of the um, photo frame and arrange them and stick them in and I'm also going to be doing some nice text to describe what it is but I'd like to get this done because I would very much like this to go up in Rosie's bedroom which is now complete and nearly ready with Rosie's hobbit hole as well so I'd like this to go up in there as well so I'm going to point the camera down and show you how I'm going to do this and hopefully now that I've got this photo frame I was going to make my own but it, I haven't got time um, and now haven't got the materials because of the CV that's going around so I'll point the camera down and we'll see how well this works. Right then, you can see this is quite a large frame. It's what, uh, 50 centimetres wide-ish, something like that. So it should be big enough for what I'm trying to do. And it is still in its single-use wrapping. Yuck. I hate that. I do like these little clips that it comes with, so I might try and save those and use them for something else. But let's get this unwrapped. Right, let's have a look, see how these are stuck on. These are stuck on with glue, from the looks of it. So I will get in with my knife, and I will attempt to unstick them very carefully. I don't want to ruin this nice hessian backing if I can help it. However, if I do end up putting a hole in it, what I will do is I will put one of my items over it so i am making a little hole as i remove it but that's not that difficult to do so i'm going to get on and remove the rest of these there we are now let's get to these little items and as you can see they are going to project a little bit and that one particularly but I think they're still gonna look really nice. So we have quite a lot of stuff here. We have stones and we have little shells, which aren't gonna show up very well on the background. So I may need to think about that. There we are. Those are the items that I've got. So what I'm gonna do now is off camera because this is becoming a long clip. I, and also I need to look at batteries. I'm going to arrange those, work out where I'm going to put them, and I'll come back when I'm ready to show you the next step. That did not take me very long at all, and I'm pretty happy with how that looks. But the only thing I might do is lift that up a little bit, because I might put some text along the bottom. Uh, but I'm going to let that settle, uh, but I think that's a really good arrangement. So what you can see is I'm covering over all the little holes that I made with my stones here. <laughs> and then I've done it in a kind of, uh, uh, as, um, equal so yeah you can see that it's uh, that they've got a stone here and, and a shell there but apart from that um, it's it looks the same I could make it so that I have a stone there and put the shell there but I'm not sure I like that and it leaves a little bit of other stuff that I don't want to see showing so I think that's a good shape I'm gonna let as I say let that settle I'm gonna work out about my text um, and I'll be back in a little bit when I have got that ready and printed out and ready to stick on um, and uh, see whether I'm gonna shift this hold all up slightly so that I can fit things along the bottom. But I think that looks really well. There we are, I've printed this out, I just did it in Word. Simple, Thassos 2019, first family holiday. Kind of it wasn't in the sense, because we'd already been back for my father's funeral, sadly, um, shortly before, but that wasn't really a holiday, that was, uh, that was enforced on us. It was a really nice time, as nice as you can expect for such a difficult period of, of life. Um, I won't go into that now, but this was our first proper family holiday. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to get my PVA, which is what I'm going to use to stick most of it down. These bigger rocks, I'm going to stick down with gator glue, but I'm going to do, oh, you can see that with the gator glue, um, but I'm going to need to make sure that I weight them down pretty well. So I'm not going to do them first of all, I'm going to do the littler rocks first. So I have my famous dinner plate and a rough brush. And I'm going to dump some little bit of PVA on the plate and stick each of these little things in place. And I think PVA is going to be absolutely sufficient for this task, for these small items. I will want to make sure that it doesn't get too badly... Oh, 
dropped it. It doesn't get too badly knocked. Um, but I won't be able to put a cover over the top of it, obviously, because this is way too high. But these smaller ones should should glue in nicely, and I'm pretty sure. There we are. I think that the original stuff was stuck down with something very similar to PVA as well. Anyway, that one's going to be a bit more fiddly. But what I'll be doing is I'll just be leaving this now for a good few hours if not until tomorrow even and then tomorrow I will be along to do the other bits and I might find that this one here does need to be glued down with the gator glue but there we are so the small ones are glued down this I'm going to spray with contact adhesive uh, outside and bring it in and stick it on because PVA will cause the uh, printer ink to run, which is, which is not ideal. So I will get this done now and uh, I'll be back later to show you what it looks like with the gator glue. And here we have it, the finished product. It's looking really good. It's stuck down very well. PVA for the small items and gator glue for the larger items. And I'm very, very pleased with that. So that is completed and we'll now go and get stuck up in Rosie's room. It will give us many years of pleasure to look at this and remember the holiday that we had. It was an absolutely fantastic holiday and this is a beautiful way to remember it because I dived for each of these items uh, when I was swimming every morning. Um, can't wait for CV to be over so that we can get back to Thessos and have another holiday. So I'll wrap that video up there. It's a quick build and it does go to show that these techniques that we use and these skills that we learn while we're doing terrain can also be put to good use for other things such as making displays to remember holidays and maybe that inspires you to get stuck in and do something similar yourself it would be wonderful if it does and if that is the case please do let me know in the comments below I would always love to hear that uh, I hope that this has been an interesting video and if you are not yet subscribed please do so don't forget also to click the bell if you don't ding that bell then you won't don't get informed whenever one of my videos goes live and I'm trying to put out regular content so you'll miss out if you don't and I will end the clip by saying the traditional greeting of thank you very much for watching Beard Clipper and stay safe healthy and well out there